All right. This video, um, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to address a, uh, um, an issue which I covered in another video about uh, boycotting MSNBC. And I came across an article just recently at NewYorkTimes.com, and uh, it's basically talking about how how uh, CNN has lost half of its viewership within one year's time. Okay, for that prime time slot. Uh, for those hosts. So we're talking about Anderson Cooper, uh, Larry King, right? Now, how Larry King ever made it in journalism to begin with is astounding to me. Uh, but um, it really goes to show that uh, that people are really sick of being lied to. All right. And I think it's decidedly a good thing. Um, there's a reason that CNN's ratings are in the toilet. There is a reason that MSNBC, right, is uh, is losing its viewers. There's, there's a reason that, that Keith Oberman might actually uh, take a pay cut or actually lose his show. It's because people are sick and tired of the fucking lies. Unfortunately, they're going over to Fox News to be lied to in a different format, Right. And, of course, there is a certain uh, segment of the population that's just turning the Fox cable news uh, networks, just all that shit, just turning it off and getting their information from the Internet. And I would be one of those people. Um, I would much rather read a story, right, instead of buying into these personalities. Uh, you know, well, this person said and this person said, I want information. That way I can dictate exactly what it means without being biased. Objectivity, right? That's that's the idea. What a concept. Objectivity in information. So I came across this article and I can't be I can't help but be filled with glee to know that people are starting to understand that all these people are there for is to manipulate information and give them little speckles and bits and pieces of truth. Um when you uh, when you turn on MSNBC and you got that piece of shit, uh, Chris Matthews up there calling everybody that's uh, uh, angry with the government right now a racist, part of a hate group, anti-Semitic, the whole ball of wax, right? Eventually, people are going to be insulted, all right? And say, you know what? Fuck you. I'm never going to watch your show again. So they have done this to themselves. And as I said, unfortunately, they're going over to Fox, and uh, I can't really, uh, I can't really uh, say anything good about Fox, all right? Uh, because I know that Glenn Beck is a piece of shit as well, and of course, he just takes uh, talking points from uh, real, real information out there, and uh, washes them to go along with the official line. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, and uh, draw some attention to that article. And uh, just to just to end it, okay? There, there's a reason that Air America went bankrupt. All right, the fairness doctrine is total bullshit. Maybe people that are more left leaning, if you buy into that left right paradigm, maybe they just don't listen to AM radio. Maybe their auditory nerves are different from supposed conservatives' auditory nerves. Maybe that's the reason. All right. So this fairness doctrine, if it's re-implemented, isn't going to do anything, all right? It's just going to clamp down on the freedom of speech of the alleged right. Uh, so there's a reason that Air America went bankrupt. There's a reason that CNN has lost 50% of its viewers within a year's time. There's a reason that MSNBC is in the toilet, because they're sick and tired of turning on the TV and having someone insult their intelligence. All right. That's the best way to drive people off of your network. So I would love to get here on on the Internet one day and tell you that CNN no longer exists. All right. I would love to. But it would all be consolidated under Fox anyway. So good news. Check out the story.